Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how I plan to maximize the space in my shed. Viewer discretion is advised. This shed is a disaster. I built it in 2019, a couple of weeks before my son was born, and I never had the time to organize it the way I wanted to. So we're gonna do that today. Now the space in here is 10 feet wide by 14 feet deep, and this is pretty large. And I plan on putting up shelves and maximizing the space up top as well. So here we go. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use half inch plywood to cover all the walls. I found in the past that this was the best way for me to have the freedom to move things around because you won't have to worry about hitting a beam when you put shelves in or hooks or whatever it is that you wanna hang. Also, it's a good idea to mark your beams before you put your plywood up. That way you'll know the locations when you wanna put your nails or screws in later on. When I built this shed, I made sure that the outlet boxes were all installed at the same height. So therefore, I was able to make a stencil with the cutout at the proper height, and all I have to do is worry about how far away the outlet box is from the wall. Using this method allowed me to cut out perfect openings every single time. Now to allow me to use the space up top, I am gonna be using two by six beams. Now you could use two by fours if your shed is smaller, but since I have about a 10 foot wide space, I'm gonna use two by sixes. It'll give me a little bit more strength and with some weight up there, it won't bow over time. To install them, I'm just gonna be using these two by six holders. Uh, really simple, really easy, and they cost about a dollar. So that's probably the easiest way to just get them up quickly. Now it's time to install our shelves and I'm gonna be using this self-leveling laser that I had used in a previous video and I gotta tell you, it is an inexpensive one but for the DIY guy who's not lugging it around to every job site, this thing is absolutely awesome and it's gonna make this so much faster and I'm gonna get perfect results every single time. 
If you want to check out that self-leveling laser, I will put the link in the description. The brackets I bought at my big box store, I wanted to buy them on Amazon, but the ones on Amazon seemed like they were flimsy, at least from the reviews that I saw and the maximum weight that they can handle. The ones in a big box store can handle a lot more weight. These can handle about 200 pounds each according to the label. So uh, that's why I decided to go that route. And yeah, they cost a little bit more money, but at least I know they're gonna hold up better over time. I am going to be cutting my plywood down to 15 inch widths so that way uh, I don't have too much of a, a deep shelf where I lose things but at the same time I can still fit some pretty large uh, items on it. I hope you were able to get some ideas from watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please check out my other videos. Uh, and if you like what you see, please think about subscribing. I'm also on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. And like always, I hope everybody's doing well, and I will see you in the next one.